Hey YouTubers, it's me again, Ben. Uh, this video is not going to come out to anything like what I planned. Um, I went out for to do a shoot yesterday at a Winding River Park, and it got cut short uh, for several reasons. I've got more, different excuses this time. <laughs> uh, hopefully you'll laugh. Um, first thing, I loaded up the truck. Uh, Laura took a separate, separate car just in case she had to leave. And I could stay and fish and film and, and everything else. I brought all my cameras. I charged all my GoPros. Um, which brings to mind, um, Daniel and I went fishing on a Thursday at the Manasquan Reservoir. And I planned on having some fishing content for you. And um, the first two and a half hours, I didn't catch any fish. Uh, the GoPro White, which I had facing me, uh, died after 20 minutes. And the, uh, the Hero 4 Black, which I wore on the chesty mount, uh, that lasted two and a half hours. But like I said, I didn't catch any fish the first two and a half hours. Of course, at three hours, uh, I caught two fish. And then I ended up catching three more. So uh, five fish for me is really good. I caught uh, two bass. Uh, one was pretty small. <laughs> I didn't even know I had it on the line. Uh, uh, we were in the kayaks for so long. By then, it was probably five hours we were already in the kayak. So, um, uh, my back was killing me, so I had to brace myself up off the seat a little bit for, for a couple minutes. And while I was, do I, I did that after I cast my line in. And, uh, <laughs> after, uh, after a minute or so of that, Daniel's like, you know, you got a fish on, right? And so I look over and I'm using my ultralight. Uh, I used all the other poles with all the different kinds of baits and got nothing. So I figured, okay, let me go with the ultralight. We saw some bluegills in the water in the, in the little cove. Uh, at the end of uh, the Manasquan Reservoir, and uh, so I figured I'll catch some bluegills. I had already caught a, a bluegill up to that point, and uh, I, I threw the line in and braced myself for a, a minute, and uh, that's when the, I had a small bass hit it, so I reeled it in. So that, that was two fish, and then uh, we, we stayed in the cove a little while longer, and uh, then we went around to the next uh, little cove, and uh, I caught I caught three more. I caught. Um, I caught the largest bass I've ever caught in New Jersey on my ultralight. It, it, it wasn't really big. It was probably, I don't know, three quarters of a pound, a pound maybe, tops. But it was a nice fish for me. And, uh, and then I caught another uh, bluegill. And this one was a good, or, uh, even bigger than the first one. It was, it was a pretty good sized bluegill. Probably the biggest one I've caught. And uh, then I caught a little perch, which was a pain in the neck because I'm trying to get the... I was using my um, baby bass, my Rapala baby bass... Um, hard bait and it seemed like I, didn't, I caught all the fish in two places with it it's got two it's got two treble hooks on it so this this uh, little perch had a uh, has a, had a, a hook in its mouth and a hook on, uh, uh, under the under the gill so I'm trying to get the trying to get the thing off and he's squirming around it and they got all those spines uh, they got the spines on the uh, gill covers also so I'm trying to be careful and this thing's trying to flop out of my hand and I finally got the hooks off, and then he flopped out of my hand and landed in the bottom of the boat. And he's flopping around, and I didn't want to get spot. I didn't want to get. I didn't want to get a, a spine in the back of my leg, so I kind of like held him down till he stopped flopping, and then I put him back in the water. But uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> funny, I was telling Daniel and Jake last night that um, I was not a happy camper in the beginning of the trip. I was, I was about as aggravated as I'd ever been fishing before. I kept hooking. I must have hooked every uh, tree under the water. I, I, I was hooking myself. I was hooking my clothes. I, <laughs> I went to change my uh, my bait and I put one of the hard baits on, <laughs> and uh, I, I did a nice palomar knot. It took me like three seconds to do. I was so proud of myself. And then I, uh, instead of cutting the <laughs> instead of cutting the tag line off, I, I cut the main line. So, <laughs> so I was I was so mad about that. So I, I'm still doing stupid things after a year. Um, so I was pretty mad. I mean, I was, uh, I was about this close to just leaving the kayak and all my fishing stuff at the lake and letting somebody have it and calling it quits for life. But, um, then I, we went to the cove and I caught a couple fish and I was happy again. So it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing how your emotions can change when you're sitting on the water. But, um, so this video is going to be a couple things. Um, I'm also going to, uh, since I don't have, I don't have any film of that and I don't have any proof that I caught them other than Daniel's word and my word. Uh, this isn't going to turn out to be a fishing video. 
So uh, yesterday we went to Winding River Park, and I, I was going to film. Uh, I, I brought my my DJI Phantom Two. I was it was the first time that I was going to fly it over water, and I bought brought all my other cameras. So I was going to get some aerial shots of me fishing and uh, wear uh, that chesty mount and set up the other cameras, and I was going to get a lot you know a lot of fishing content. I, I was hoping to after you know after being on a, on a high from catching all those fish the other day. Um, I was hoping that, that I'd finally uh, hit the jackpot at Winding River Park and have some good um, some good fishing content for you. Where I actually meant to have some fishing content and it came out that way. But um, I started flying. I get we get there and there's a guy there with a kayak. He's sitting on the edge of the bank there fishing right where we were getting ready to set up. And I'm pulling up and I'm watching him, uh, you know, carry his kayak down. And I'm thinking, okay, what did I forget? Because I, I took like a good half hour loading all my stuff up. I brought my tri my big tripod for the for the for the um, Nikon. I um, I brought like four different fishing poles. I had them rigged. I was ready to go. I get there. I shut I shut my escape off, and then it hit me. I forgot my fishing license. <laughs> so it, it, we're only I don't know ten minutes away, but we, we drove down there. It was. It was afternoon, it was starting to get late. I did not feel like driving home just to get my fishing license and then going back and all that. So I said, forget it. I said, I'm not going to fish. I'm just going to fly the Phantom. It's probably better that way because then I can concentrate on flying the Phantom and I'm not going to crash it into the water the first time I try and fly it over water. So I did that. Um, <laughs> I, um, I flew the Phantom over water and I got a little story with that. Evidently, They've put in a new sprinkler system along the lake. Uh, I didn't realize it was there. And we're sitting there fishing, or sitting there um, fishing. Yeah, we're sitting there watching this guy fish, and I'm flying my Phantom. And I, if you look to the left, there are three in-ground um, sprinkler heads that, 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 that came up while we were sitting there. And the closest one was I don't know, 30 feet away, and they, they went all along the fence between. Uh, the Children's uh, Memorial Park and, and the lake. So I'm like, oh, that's cool. They're going to grow some grass, you know, in there and stuff. So I'm flying my fan, and we're there probably an hour already. I've flown it for probably 20 minutes. And I, and then uh, a um, great blue heron flies by. I got a little bit of that. I'll, I'll show you in the video. Um, a little bit of that flying around the lake. And um, so I, I, I ran to the car to grab the uh, tripod. I wanted to set up the, the Nikon to... Uh, Takes it to get some shots of the um, from the shore of the Great Blue Heron. All of a sudden, I hear some water behind me. I turn around, another set of sprinkler heads um, popped up behind the uh, picnic table we were sitting at, and I have my Phantom sitting out on this table with the case. I have the uh, I have the armor uh, case for it. And I have my camera bag wide open, my cameras are all out, and, I, and I'm like, I'm going ballistic, because I'm like, all my stuff is going to get ruined. So I just started grabbing stuff and hightailing it away from the sprinkler system. Well, I grabbed the Phantom first, and <laughs> luckily, when I went with Daniel Thursday at the Manasquan Reservoir, I, I brought my, my Nikon and my lenses with me. On the boat, I had them inside Ziploc storage bags. I didn't get to use them, but they were protected. I put them in a waterproof case, and I had them in Ziploc storage bags. So when I when I threw them in my Nikon bag to go to the park, I left them in the Ziploc storage bags, and that's what saved my camera from getting drenched. Otherwise, my, um, Ocean County Parks would have heard from me. That's all I could think of is they're lucky that my camera is is in a Ziploc storage bag, and I got the uh, Phantom out of the out of the out of harm's way soon enough. So that's that's my story over the last couple of days. So that, that's I guess that's enough for video content. But um, enough of that.
for now.